Good morning, St. Mary's. Welcome to our Monday morning assembly. Let's begin by lighting our candles. The theme of our assembly this week is courage. Let's begin by exploring the idea of courage. Have a think and then put your hand up and tell your teacher what you think courage is. Maybe some of your answers sounded a little like these, that courage is what we use to overcome our fears. Courage is being brave. Courage is what helps us to achieve our goals. Courage is feeling scared, but doing it anyway. Can you think of some characters from the Bible who needed courage? Turn to your partner and have a little discussion about the characters that you think of.
did you think of these? There was David from the story of David and Goliath. David had to fight a giant of a man. He needed courage. And then there was Moses. He was told by God to go to the king of Egypt, the Pharaoh, and demand that he let the slaves go. The Pharaoh doesn't look very happy, does he? And then there was Noah. He was building an ark. The people all around him were laughing, teasing him because they couldn't understand what he was doing. I'm sure he needed a lot of courage to finish building that ark. I'd like to tell you a story about another character. This character is called Milton. Milton started off with courage, but somehow he lost it. Let me tell you about Milton. Before he got so scared, he used to be adventurous, but now he never dared. Oh, Milton, he's a brave young boy, is what they used to say. Why, he goes on fun adventures almost every single day. He climbs up all the tallish trees, then swings down on a rope. He rides his bike up long steep hills, then races down the slope. But as he had got older, he had somehow lost his way. He found a new thing scared him when he went out every day. He wouldn't play in football games, he'd always stand aside. He feared he'd fall and hurt himself, and so he never tried. He stayed out of the garden, and instead he played indoors. He worried that the neighbour's dog would get him with his paws. He never slept in darkness. He made sure he used a light. He imagined he saw monsters hiding every single night. He never rode his bike because he thought it went too fast. He pictured himself tumbling as everything rushed past. On one fine sunny morning, Milton headed on his way and came across a strange old man whose beard was long and grey. He wore a cloak with patches and a hat upon his head. He placed a jar in Milton's hand and this is what he said. Inside you'll find your courage. I know how you've missed it so. With this you will feel brave again. Now I must up and go. With that, the old man vanished and left Milton standing there. He held the jar of courage and he couldn't help but stare. He set off back towards his home and wandered round the back, but sitting in the garden was the neighbour's dog, old Jack. He looked down at the jar he held and felt his courage grow. He slowly walked towards old Jack and felt his worries go. Old Jack rolled over on his back and Milton rubbed his belly. It turned out this dog wasn't scary, just a little smelly. Milton said goodbye to Jack and knew just what to do. He grabbed his bike and helmet, hopped on quick and off he flew. He pedalled up the steepest hill, he pushed with all his might. And when he reached the top, he thought, this isn't such a fright. I don't know why I was so scared. This seems like such a breeze. With that, he pushed hard off the ground and flew downhill with ease. As Milton headed straight back home, he cycled past the park. His friends were playing football and he felt an idea spark. He asked if he could join them and they handed him the ball. He played with them all afternoon and several times did fall. But he found it didn't matter. He enjoyed it all the same. He had a blast with all his friends and they were glad he came. He couldn't understand why he was feeling brave once more. Then he thought about the jar as he sat down upon the floor. He took his backpack off his back and opened it with care. He reached inside to find the jar but there was only air. The jar had disappeared and the thought filled him with dread. I cannot do without that jar. It keeps me safe, he said. He quickly turned his bike around. He knew just where to go. He raced to where the old man was. He didn't dare go slow. The old man stood upon the spot from earlier that day. 
his hat still perched upon his head, his beard still long and grey. My jar has vanished, Milton cried, whatever will I do? It helped me to feel brave again, it made me feel brand new. Without it, I'm not brave, and I will never be again. His tears fell down upon his shirt and soon left quite a stain. The old man turned to Milton and he said, that isn't true. The jar was never special. There's still courage inside you. You didn't need to use the jar. Your heart was always strong. Your courage never went, you see. You had it all along. Again, the old man disappeared. No sign of him around. So Milton sat and wondered, has my courage now been found? He'd faced up to the neighbour's dog, he'd cycled down a hill. Yet none of this had scared him, now it just gave him a thrill. He thought about the future and he saw how it could be. Now that I have my courage back, there's nothing to stop me. The sun began to fade as Milton walked through his front door. He was tired from his adventuring, but still he wanted more. He couldn't have felt better after being scared so long. His courage wasn't really gone. The old man wasn't wrong. He climbed into his bed and then turned out the bedroom light. He didn't even think about it being off all night. So if you're scared or fearful, then remember you're brave too. Just like Milton, you can find it. Your courage is in you. That was a lovely and encouraging story about being brave. I'd like you to have another discussion with your partner. And this time I would like you to tell them about a time when you felt a bit worried or scared about doing something. But most importantly, I want you to explain to them what made you do it anyway and how you felt when you used your courage. How can we show courage in school? There's lots of different ways. We can speak out when we know that something isn't right. We can persevere with tasks that we're finding really difficult, but we know will help us to achieve our goals. We can be brave and ask for help when we really need it. And we can find the courage to try lots of new things. The Bible is full of verses that are encouraging. Here's one taken from Joshua chapter one, verse nine. It says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. 
Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And here's the second one, taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. It says, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Let's bow our heads and put our hands together and pause for a moment of reflection. Lord, I'm afraid. I don't feel bold or courageous today. Help me remember that bravery is an absence of fear. It's doing the right thing no matter what. Give me a courageous heart. I know that you will be with me and I am not alone. You are greater than any enemy or obstacle I face. Help me to take a stand, to not give up, to push on and to step forward today, knowing that you are trustworthy and you are my strength. Amen. We will now say the faith prayers. assembly but I would like to leave you with one final thought from Winston Churchill. He says that success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. I hope that you're going to remember to be courageous this week and as you go about your day I want you to keep remembering that you can be brave. Thank you for listening, thank you for taking part I hope that you all have a fantastic day of learning. Goodbye, St. Mary's. <laughs>